Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Dart. Now at 11 and streaming on CBS in Los Angeles, breaking news, a spectacular sight in the SoCal sky. In the last 10 minutes, NASA and SpaceX launched its Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Space for space. Here was the view from sky to our chopper was flying over Camarillo the moment DART launched into space. Good evening everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. The new mission is designed to have the rocket crash into an asteroid. CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom is live in the newsroom with more details on what's going to happen on this voyage and your personal journey, Chris. Yeah, Pat, this is so cool. Everyone's geeking out here in the news station. A very exciting mission for sure. So the main goal, to practice saving Earth. It's a mission an international team has been working on for several years. And it was an incredible show for many people across Southern California. This video was from one of our crews in Burbank. And what comes next in this mission? Well, it's just as incredible. You've seen the movies. An asteroid threatens to collide with Earth, and with moments to spare, a group of heroes save the day. Well, NASA is about to test if they can use a spacecraft in real life to slam into an asteroid that's heading for Earth and push it away from us. Planetary defense is very much a global problem. That's Christina Thomas. She's leading the mission known as the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. The Earth is hit by asteroids and pieces of asteroids all the time. Every year or so, we get hit by things maybe the size of a table. The kind of object that DART is going to visit is an object that's about the size of the Washington Monument. Those types of objects typically hit us every thousand years and cause severe damage on a regional scale, which is why NASA's latest launch into space is so important. The SpaceX rocket launching from Vandenberg will release a satellite into space. And next September, if it works, it will fly right into a well-known asteroid named Dimorphos. It's the size of a kitchen table, which is in a fixed orbit around a much larger asteroid called Didymos. What DART will do is DART will hit the secondary. When it hits the moon, it will change the orbit period. And when it changes the orbit period, it affects the timing of when the moon moves in front of or behind the primary. The goal would be to change the speed of the incoming object. Experts say even if you change it seconds in advance, it could be enough to miss Earth entirely. NASA will be able to measure if the test worked. But one of the interesting things, especially from my perspective, is that we can observe the orbit of that moon around Didymos from the ground using telescopes. And so we can really understand what the orbit is, how fast that object is going, and then we can see how we change it from the impact. And it's important to note that just because this is considered a near Earth asteroid we are targeting doesn't mean we should be concerned about it hitting the Earth. Again, this is a test run in case we ever have a real one threaten us in the future. Also, the big test impact is expected to happen September of next year. Pat, we'll send it back to you. Now, I said personal journey, Chris, because you actually went outside and got a shot. I did. I, I went to the roof uh, of the garage <laughs> and I was out of breath, but I posted the video and NASA liked it. So. I feel like it was a successful day all in all, but they, so cool, Pat. I love this. Oh, there you go. You have, I love a uh, reporter on the scene. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, Chris. Thanks, Pat. And here is another view of that launch from a viewer in Chatsworth and stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of the big launch.